everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus with the massively anticipated how to make your own Space Hulk bases video. So first of all, I did a test piece for just a normal mini and I thought that looked alright. And I've got my Dark Vengeance Terminators for the Deathwing and I thought they need proper spaceship bases. So I got out my trusted supply of old um, defunct credit cards and things and I decided that I would cut them into interesting shapes to represent like airlocks and doors and panelways and Jeffrey's tubes and all that kind of stuff. So basically I was just cutting some shapes and then moving the pieces quite you know, quite close together but enough that there was a gap and I was just sort of gluing on some random shapes and you see I was just cutting up cards at whim um, there and just you know doing like a big massive jigsaw uh, and it was quite good fun I enjoyed it. I used a piece of an old shower fitting here to represent a pipe coming through the floor and uh, so I cut a space in some foam board and inserted that in. Next thing I went to the pound shop and got a, a jewellery holder moustache um, and then I cut that up to use as grid panels or decking plates or whatever you want to call that. So I was measuring it out to leave a sort of quarter of the 40mm base and then I measure out the metal mesh and then basically mount it so it's a, a quarter of that 40mm base um, and I was just trying to work out exactly what the best way to do that was and very carefully cut that out and then mounted the, um, the metal mesh on that sort of missing quadrant. What I also did at this point in time was to say well it's, it's unlikely to be just hanging about um, as a trip hazard it would probably have some sort of protection or warning that you were about to stand on it so I built a, a sort of protective lip that goes around that just to to, to make it look um, a, a bit more realistic I guess um, and then obviously I'm going to paint that with my favourite uh, sort of cross hatching style as well which I think looks pretty awesome in all spaceship um, bases if I'm being honest. So this is what the, the majority of them look like there's all sorts going on there there's uh, tubes from the crispy cream donut balloon stick that my son got. Um, I do let him keep some toys by the way, I don't just steal everything that he uh, gets. Um, but there's some pipes here, there's also uh, a bit from the, an engine nacelle from a uh, um, Starship Enterprise that I built for a mate. So there's lots of stuff knocking about in the background. Uh, just whatever you can find, use it. That's the, the bit of the Enterprise end plate from uh, one of the nacelles with another bit of mesh stuck inside. But the majority of it is just that sort of credit cardy type material that's just been cut up. Um, I do have plastic card, but um, the credit card stuff's pretty decent. And that's that shower fitment I was telling you about as well. So. Right, okay, so now we've built some bases and thrown them about, obviously. Um, what are we going to do with them? Well, I want it to look like the inside of a... Uh, spaceship so I was thinking you know metal would it be metal I asked for some feedback and some friends said it'd probably be grey uh, as opposed to black so uh, I went ahead and painted them um, like this so for the green toxic sludge I first painted uh, a white undercoat and then I used um, that uh, livery green from uh, Vallejo Game Air uh, just to to, to cover that white and make it look really sort of toxic and yucky um, and then some I think it's uh, snot green believe it or not Oof. anyway um, I did that around the, the bits of the bases that we're going to be showing and you'll see here that was the, the piece I made earlier on with the crate so I think that's going to look just dandy so what I do is I stick them all together and then I'm going to go on with the paint job and I, I'm going to reach out for my favourite paint of all time which is sombre grey um, but first of all I need to put, uh, put the yellow one for the, the base of the cross hatching so anything that I want to be cross hatched I've painted yellow and then I'm going to break out the masking tape you can see it in the camera shot there and um, mask off the, the yellow stripes and now I'm just painting the, the rest of it uh, black because I wanted to do a really dark base coat first so nice and steady, nice and thin a couple of thin coats is always better than one thick one and um, it's just a case of right okay make them black and then I think this colour effect is brilliant when you put the sombre grey on top and you keep it nice and light uh, and you can actually make yourself have lighting effects just by variation uh, of how much paint you put down. 
and then I used uh, burnt umber, um, sort of rusty colour for the, the, the plates to make sh make it look like the ship had been um, a few years old. So that's the that was the test piece, and then that's the the rest of them as they're all done. As I say, for a first try at this, I'm really happy with that. You know, okay, the they could be a lot better and neater, but you know, I'm quite happy. And um, that's the the terminators that are going to sit on them, and that's what they look like when they're finished. So. I was really quite happy with the overall look and feel of the entire build and as I say it didn't cost me anything the um, the, the foam board was given to me by a work colleague the uh, metal grid I got for a pound um, and the rest of the stuff I was just had knocking about anyway so give it a bash see how you get on I'd love to see some photographs of the stuff that you've uh, made um, so please uh, please share with us so thanks very much guys um, have a good one cheers thanks bye bye